Welcome to the Medium Rachel Vanek Show on A1 IR Psychic Radio and Moonstrike TV. Um, okay, look, there they are. It's like they just went to the road, like somebody was coming by. And so now the goats follow the dogs. So that's that's fun. It's not fun. Y'all are goats. <laughs> but that's okay. I mean, I guess they're all protecting the property, right? Um, so I don't even know where to go with today. Um, I am so ungrounded. So, huh, so I'm going to talk about that for a moment, I guess. Um, so if y'all don't mind listening to me ramble for a bit today, here we go. So I've been sick. My daughter's been sick. My husband's been sick. And it's just been a whirlwind of a winter, right? Um, there they go. What up? Okay. Oh. Anyway, that's Reba. And then you got Buckles and Walter. So they're twins. They might start fighting behind me, but they're just playing. They love each other, I promise. Um, The cuteness. I can't even. Um, But see, that's where my brain's at today. I'm like, okay, I have have the show to do today. I have things to do today. So I get ready and I'm like, okay. And then my brain is everywhere. And, And it's all look at me like what am I saying like I even tried to write down some notes I'm like all right Rachel sit down and write down some bullet points or something because my brain is everywhere so sometimes as a medium especially if you're just learning about what's going on with you you'll notice it's difficult to go into places sometimes that it can be like almost claustrophobic and it's like what is that feeling so a lot of people will write it off as anxiety not necessarily. Sometimes it's, oh, they're opening up and here's spirits going to come in and do their thing. That is not what's happening with me today. <laughs> today, I'm just completely ungrounded. Um, so I am outside. I'm outside. I'm not walking on barefoot right now because there's some goat poop and I don't necessarily want to ground myself in goat poop today. Um, but I'm outside and going outside helps. Could I sit down and meditate? Yeah. What if y'all have been following me for a bit now? Meditation's not not my favorite thing or my strongest suit. And it's, everybody meditates different. If it was summertime, if I could mow, I'd be mowing and I would call that my meditation. Um, so now I'm outside grounding. I'm enjoying the sun. It's warmer today than it has been. And I get to spend time with, with our animals outside. And so I really am enjoying that and trying to soak that up. And see, like I'm still all over, I'm all over the place today. I reached out to um, a medium friend of mine, Amy, and, and she'll, I'll have her come on sometime. Um, Cause I'm like, she always goes through the same thing that I go through, it seems like. So today let's talk about psychic connections, right? Um, everybody's psychic, everybody has that in them. Um, like, so today I reached out to her and she had sent me a message weeks ago, weeks, maybe it was just a week. Anyway, it's been a long time and I didn't check the message because I don't know, because I'm terrible at checking messages sometimes when it comes to my phone. But today I was thinking about these cats that I've been seeing and hearing about. And I'm like, oh, I mean, I talked to somebody one time and they're like, that should be, you know, you're starting to go forward with your trance mediumship. Um, And and then I was thinking to myself, well, I, am I that comfortable with doing that yet full time or even doing it again? Now, as a medium, you're always in control. You are. Um, when it comes to me doing trance, I'm the person that I'm going to check my locks in my house 25 times. Um, that's, just, that's just me. So I'm like, I don't know if I'm there yet with being that comfortable and putting that much trust in something other than myself and my household. Um, and I talked to her or I checked her message and it was like, well, you know, Rachel, maybe that's a sign, you know, to go ahead and it's time to explore that a little bit more if you feel comfortable. I'm like, what? Like, I was just thinking that, like, how do I feel about doing that? Am I comfortable with that? And then uh, my aunt crossed my mind today and mind you we haven't spoken in months um sometimes when you come out as a medium and set boundaries for yourself um family friends the connections in your life change 
And that's not always a bad thing. Um, you're learning, they're learning, everybody's growing. They have a right to their own thoughts and belief systems, and so do you. But she crossed my mind today. And I'm like, well, why? Why? <laughs> like, I don't, nothing's happened down here that's made me be like, oh, hey, that's reminding me of her. Um, but then I got a new um, like on the Facebook page. And the woman had the same name. Um, it was not my aunt, but had the same name. And I'm like, oh, okay. So it was like that, feeling some of that energy. Um, look at this, I tried to put my Fitbit on. Where's my brain? Trying, <laughs> I tried to put it on today. Um, so there's that. Oh, <laughs> and then another psychic. And today's just been psychic stuff. Like stuff's been coming out left, right field. And so I need to ground. Um, but I saw this like Mimi on Facebook. Um, that was this like this cute little pudgy baby, you know, and they got the rolls and they're just the cutest things. Um, and the Mimi was something like, oh, when I leave Texas Roadhouse from eating the rolls. And I almost reposted it to be like, yo, I gotta get me some of these rolls. I've never had them. I've never been to Texas Roadhouse. Now I want these right now. Um, and you know, I didn't repost it. I kept on going on with the day. And then a friend who I do fitness challenges with. So Texas Roadhouse and Rolls are farthest from our minds. We're trying to be low carb, right? Um, she, and plus our fitness goal was once each of us reached a negative of 15 pounds, let's go to Applebee's. But she tagged me today, and we usually don't communicate on Facebook. Um, she tagged me in this post, like, let's go to Texas Roadhouse. Like, what? Like, that just... <laughs> so there was a psychic connection there. And it's like the times when you think somebody's going to call you, or you're like, oh, I wish they would call me, and then they do. It's that connection. You're on their wavelength and going forward. Another example behind me, I did not mean to stand in the spot. I'm checking the time again. I'm sorry, guys. Um, okay, see my swing set? Am I in the right way? Anywho, it's totally busted. Um, right before winter hit, I wanted to move the swing set to the backyard. Like way over this way. It's behind a shed. You can't even see it. Why? I didn't really have a reason why other than it's going to be cold and we're not going to be using it, but that's, we've had it through winters before. So that reasoning didn't make sense and we weren't going to mow around it. So, so we didn't get it moved anyways. Um, but I'm like, I kept saying it, like we should move that. We should move that. Well, our last snowstorm, we got quite a bit of ice and we backed into it and crushed it. So now it's really got to get moved off the property. And that's just another example of when your psychic is at work. I know a lot of times it's hard to differentiate between psychic and medium stuff. So here's some examples and I really hope that they help. A lot of it comes down to, you'll hear me say this a lot, is knowing yourself. Um, and like I, as far as knowing yourself, it's knowing when there's another spirit coming in and saying something. These psychic things for me are, are difficult for me to figure out that that's what's happening, that I'm just feeling the energy of something that's to come or somebody that's to reach out. <laughs> uh, another example is when we live, oh, I don't know, it was like 30 miles from here. We lived in town and I had my grandfather's car and we had this tree. Uh, right by the driveway. Never thought much of it, but I'm like, we got to move the car, move the car to the road, which didn't make any sense because it's a small road. And especially if it were to snow, you're not going to move your car off of that road. Or are you going to move your car off of that road because of the snow plow? But I kept saying, we got to move the car. We got to move the car. Well, because we're human as well, we did not move the car. Who's behind me? Oh, that's Walter. Um, hi, Walter. Uh, so we did not move the car. Lo and behold, the tree fell in the car, totaled it. I mean, totaled it. Um, so
so it's so small nudges like I, like and I kept saying it so I guess I think of if it's important enough for you to say out loud a couple times do it and then find out why later <laughs> or don't do it and see what happens and so the car got totaled and we had not gotten insurance figured out on it yet. So the car was a total loss. Um, but, you know, that's how it goes. Um, I've been having dreams about goats, too. I think it's a sign that I need to get more. Um, so grounding. I only have a little bit of time left on here yet. Um, one thing that I did early this morning about 3 a.m., 4 a.m., I wrote down a recipe of cupcakes I want to bake. And like that's that's what I want to do. Um, that's a form of grounding. So a lot of times when I want to ground, I will go bake, and I consider that a meditation too. And then talking with um, another medium, they're like, I just want to get out and garden, right? And plant her flowers and garden. That's grounding yourself. Get out there barefoot. If you're feeling aloof, like where my brain's at today, go outside, y'all. Thank you so much for coming and joining me. You can find me on Facebook, Medium Rachel Vanek. And I hope you guys have a great day. Enjoy your Tuesday. And watch the cute, cute goat fight wherever they're at. Did I see it in front of them? They're so cute. Mm. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you.